through the 80s and 90s and this decade. Farming has been very, very tough. Roscoe had declined for the last 50 years. The, we lost our Dairy Queen about 10 years ago and we knew we were in trouble then because that's a mark of a surviving community, I think. It's the same situation that's uh, happened all over rural America. But with the wind energy industry coming to this area, now we have young people returning to Roscoe from college, staying here out of high school, attending their technical school here and educating themselves on the wind industry and having permanent jobs available to them. It's a 180 degree attitude changing our culture around here because we've always cussed the wind. The wind has been so terrible, it's so, so hard on our crops, but we're now we're able to sell the wind. We don't own the wind, we own the rights to the wind. And it cost us nothing. And as opposed to oil and gas, we've got an endless supply. It's just an amazing situation for us that we're able to take advantage of. Finally, something for our area. We have a chance here of something significant happening for Roscoe, Texas. We can bring Roscoe back, that we can see some positive effects here, and we won't be totally dependent on our farming income here. Our horizons have changed. And these windmills not only are generating electricity and making money and offsetting doing all the green good, but they're a symbol of progress, an effort to clean up our act. It's a really deep feeling of maybe we did something right. Every once in a while, someone will stop into this community and ask me what are those big white windmill looking things far out there. When it gets real calm and still and hot around here that we turn those things on to give us a little bit of a breeze and, and cool us off a little bit. 